Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. I'm excited about today's video. I had this idea last week when I mentioned to you guys that I recently got a job and I was like, why don't I take you along through a week of dinners in our life? It's kind of like what we eat in a week, but just for dinner. Because some days I'm at home, some days I work in the morning, and some days I work till 8.30 in the evening. And so I have to sometimes cook in crock pots and just different things. Basically, I'm just kind of busy all the time. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what, what we typically do for dinners. It's never the same, but... It'll just give you a general idea. There'll be lots of recipes for you to try. And if you are also in a busy season of life or if you're like a working working homemaker as well, hopefully this will give you some great meal ideas. Today was my day off, which always makes it so much simpler for cooking. I have so much more time. I'm kicking off the video by making one of my current favorite dinner recipes called unstuffed pepper bowls. And I'm just starting off by frying up some rice and I usually just add a bit of oil to a frying pan, add one cup of dry rice and fry that till it's browned and then pour in two cups of water and season it with salt to taste and let it simmer on low for 20 minutes or until the rice is done and it's absorbed all the water. For the meat mixture, I'm using ground pork. You can also use ground turkey or beef as well. And I'm frying that up with minced garlic and a chopped up onion, some diced bell peppers. And then for spices, you need chili powder, cumin, and cayenne pepper. And then just br brown that until it's like cooked all the way through. Add a can of diced drained tomatoes and let that simmer until the flavors come together nicely. And then to serve it, I always just put a little pile of rice in my bowl, sprinkle some cheese over top and put the meat mixture over top. And this is just such a yummy and simple dinner idea. It is 5.30. I worked this morning. I was actually done around 2. So I have time to make a nice dinner in time for when my husband gets home. I've had this recipe saved on Pinterest for a while because it's a slow cooker meal. It's called Marry Me Chicken. <laughs> and it looks so yummy. But I think I'm going to make it into a version, like a non-slow cooker version. I'm just going to cube it and then fry it up till it's done and then put the sauce in there and we're gonna cook to some ugh, cook to some we're gonna cook up some noodles as well and then serve that over top so anyways my husband's gonna be home in half an hour and so i'm gonna try to have dinner already around that time or a little afterwards first thing i'm doing for this recipe is bringing a pot of water to a boil for the noodles that we're gonna cook and then i'm just chopping up two chicken breasts the recipe asks to leave them whole, but since I'm doing the non-slow cooker version, um, I'm cubing them because I just want it to go a little faster. And I also feel like when, the, when it's cubed, it's a little more moist and flavorful. I always find that whole breasts are kind of dry and don't have a lot of flavor in the middle. Um, so anyways, I'm just frying that up with all the spices, which include minced garlic, salt and pepper. You need Italian seasoning and paprika and then I just am frying it up till it's cooked all the way through. In the meantime, I'm also cooking the noodles and it really does not matter what kind of noodles you use. I just use like spaghetti noodles, um, but honestly it tastes the same to me. I always just use whatever I have on hand. Um, then once they were cooked, I just drained them and put them back in the pot to stay warm until we were ready to eat. Once the chicken is cooked through, I'm adding three tablespoons of flour and mixing that together. And then use one cup of heavy whipping cream and one and a half cups of chicken broth and let that simmer until it's slightly thickened. Um, the recipe also calls for a third cup of tomatoes, which I added, but I feel like this could be totally optional for the people that don't like tomatoes. Um, and then to serve it, just put some noodles on your plate and the chicken mixture over top and another delicious meal is served. I have 
to go to work at one today. So I am putting a beef roast in the crock pot for dinner tonight. And we're gonna have um, some sort of beef tacos. I forget what they're called. I've had this little roast sitting in my freezer and I thought this would be the perfect way to use it. And obviously it'll be way too much for one meal. So I'll probably just pull the beef and put it in the freezer to take out some other time. For these slow cooker shredded beef tacos, I'm just starting out by sprinkling salt and pepper all over the roast and then adding some olive oil to my cast iron and then it just needs to be browned on each side for a few minutes. While that's browning, I'm making a little mixture that's gonna go on top of it. And I had to substitute a lot of ingredients because I was running low on groceries. So instead of half a cup of orange juice, I used lemon juice. It also called for lime juice. And um, I figured that the lemon juice kinda just killed two birds with one stone, if you know what I'm saying. And then you just need half a cup of broth some smoked paprika, cumin, and garlic, and also some chipotle powder. And then once you have the roast in the crock pot, dump the little mixture over top, sprinkle over a chopped up onion, and you also need a can of diced tomatoes again. <laughs> and then just cook this on low for about eight hours, shred it, and put it in your tacos. Today is actually our four year anniversary. Since it's Thursday, we're not really doing a whole lot. I actually have to work till 8.30 again, which sucks. I wish we could at least have dinner together and stuff, but we're gonna celebrate this weekend. Tomorrow after work, we're leaving and we're leaving for the weekends to celebrate. I did make a blueberry cobbler um, for dessert tonight. We rarely have dessert and I just wanted to do like a little bit something that would make it just a little special. We'll probably have it with some ice cream and coffee later on once I've had my dinner after work. So what I'm making for dinner tonight though is chickpea curry and I also want to make some naan. If you have never made fresh warm naan bread with curry like either chicken curry or whatever any kind of curry you are missing out. It is so, so good. So I'm gonna make those as well and then we'll just have to warm them up a little bit once we wanna eat them. For the rice today, I decided to cook it instead of my usual frying it. I soaked it for a few hours and then just um, covered it in water, sprinkled some salt in there and let it cook till it was done. And then for the curry, I just added a bit of oil to my pan and sauteed a uh, medium onion. The recipe called for garlic, but again, running low on groceries, so I just used some garlic powder. Um, you also need some crushed red pepper flakes and one to two tablespoons of curry powder. And I am just frying that all up so that the flavors are nice and mixed together. Next, you need a can of canned tomatoes. Again, when I planned these meals, I did not realize every single one of my meals used tomatoes. And honestly, I feel like in all these recipes, they're completely optional if you do not like tomatoes. Um, you also need one can of coconut milk and then just mix that together and let it simmer, come to a simmer. <laughs> Words are so hard sometimes. The recipe calls for two cans of chickpeas, but I wanted it to be a little juicier. I like a lot of liquid in my curry. Um, so I just rinsed and drained the chickpeas and added them to my sauce and let that simmer down for a while um, to just kind of thicken it up a little bit. And then for my homemade naan bread, this recipe is so simple. It only needs four ingredients. You need one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons baking powder, a quarter teaspoon salt, and one cup of plain Greek yogurt. I'm just mixing it together to form a nice dough and it's the perfect size to make eight naan bread. So I just always divide it into eight small pieces and then using my rolling pin, I roll it out nice and thin. 
I always use either a cast iron pan to fry them up or a pancake griddle works good as well and all you need is just a little bit of oil in the bottom of your pan and fry it up until it's nice and browned and done in the inside. I ran out of space on my memory card so I didn't get to show you the whole process of frying them up but basically once it's browned on the one side flip it over and brown it on the other. Once the rice and the chickpea curry was done I put the rice in my insta pot and poured the curry over top and then since I was going to work I just covered it up put it on the warm setting so that it would be nice and hot for when we got home from work that night this is definitely one of my favorite meals right now i feel like it's just so comforting and it really just hits the spot when it's cold outside i love it and i highly recommend i didn't get to show you what we had for friday dinner because we left for the weekend but this is what we would have had on Friday. We just had it on Sunday when we got home. I just heated up the leftover marry me chicken and we didn't have any noodles left over. So I cooked up some rice and it just kind of put a different little twist on the meal. And then I just put the chicken over top of the rice like we did with the noodles. And it was super yummy and a great way to use up the leftovers. But anyways. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and I cannot wait to see you next time.